Hi, I'm Stuart Friesen. It's time to go in the pits with Fast Eddie. of a year for you 28 wins two track championships coming into 2013 how do you plan what what do you expect to accomplish this year well um you know we've done a lot of work over the off season um here with tad parks his team and uh jake's breakers team for friday nights as well as tom cullen's sunday night uh program so um, we're really looking forward to getting going here the friday saturday sunday grind and you know hopefully uh, our hard work paid off you know tad's uh Put a lot of investment into this Fonda program to keep it going and keep it top notch. And uh, we've done a little bit of homework on some new, new products that we're uh, we're running on the cars this year. So, um, you know, we were fast last week and just had some bad luck. So, some good luck. Uh, we should be all right. When you come into a new season, are there goals that you do set for yourself coming into the year? Well, coming over the winter, it's always tough because um, you know you get so much time off and time to think. And the first time you get back in the car is kind of a, you know a breath of fresh air. You say, "Well, I can still do it." You know, and still make the left turns and stand on the gas. And, um, you know, so you just try to go and, and do the best we can every night. There's The goal is always to, you know, win or be in the top five. Top fives are always good. Uh, so that's, you know, that's kind of the goal every night and then just kind of see how it goes. Now, you kind of had an up and down winner here. Uh, you lost your grandfather, Stan. You lost one of your great sponsors, Marty Burdick. How tough was that, losing those folks? That was, uh, that was real tough, you know. Um, my grandfather was one of my best friends uh, growing up. I remember he teaching me how to drive a Packer truck when I was 10 years old at Ransomville. And, um, you know, we really spent a lot of time together. So that was, uh, that was pretty tough. And we were able to go out there and, and win one um, with Marty's car for my grandfather in Florida. And, uh, you know, shortly after that, uh, Marty passed away. And uh, we were able to get one last week for him at Five Mile Point. Um, you know, Marty was there for me, you know, uh, when, when I needed it most, when we needed help to do Syracuse and just keep going as a, as a race car driver. Uh, he was there and um, supported us however he could. So it feels good. He's got everything we're doing this year is uh, all stuff he put in place before he passed in the off season. Uh, you know, we got two fresh big block motors, uh, a Dan Bedell small block motor that we ran last week at five mile. That, that's uh, in good shape. And, um, you know, two uh, Teal Pro cars that are the best they can be. So. Uh, Marty had all that stuff in line for us before he passed, and we're just going to go out and you know do the best we can for him and him and the family. How important is it going down to Florida and getting a jump start on the season? Um, you know, Florida's a tough trip. It's uh, it's a fi it's financially it's tough to to make it feasible, um, but we had some great help with uh, with Ty Car Underground uh, Trenching as came on board with the 85 t uh, team this year, and so that that really helped a lot get going, and, and we had the speed so. Um, we could kind of fine-tune the car a little bit, and really I think it gave us a jump here when we come back north, you know, um, you know, getting the speed, getting going right away out of the gate. Now, uh, there was some uh, certainly some low lights to your 2012 off-season, but some exciting news as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Jessica and I got engaged, and uh, we moved into our uh, new house this past Wednesday. So um, that's pretty cool. and. Um, you know, ready to be in the new phase of my life, you know, growing up and slowing down a little bit and, um, you know, really uh, appreciating, uh, you know, Fonda Speedway here on Saturday nights as well as Malta and Uticrome and racing close to home and, um, you know, really, uh, really enjoying it. How tough is it having your spouse-to-be be a fellow racer? It's tough, you know. Um, it's pretty cool, you know, when she's down uh, racing in Pennsylvania and stuff. She runs a lot of Williams Grove and Port Royal and she runs with the PA Posse and stuff and, um, it's tough, you know, when we're up here racing, I wish I could be there helping her. Um, we're lucky enough we can work side by side in the shop during the week, you know, when I'm getting the 85 cars ready and she's working on her sprint car stuff. So, uh, so that's a lot of fun. Um, and, it, and it's cool to be able to see, you know, the, the, the sprint car stuff, the 410 Outlaw guys, um, they're just really on their game. And, and a lot of the technology that trickles down from there, we can kind of apply to, uh, to our cars. And, you know, as far as the parts and pieces and the way somebody else does things. And, and she's pretty keen on that. She knows, uh, knows her way around those cars and engines and stuff. So it, it's kind of neat. You know, she's helping me out probably a lot more than I can help her um, in the shop with preparing cars and getting stuff together. And, um, you know, hopefully it's, it's so far it's translated into some speed and, 
just when she really gets her season going, I think she'll, she'll do good too. Now you certainly won at a lot of racetracks here in the Northeast. Is there any one track that you see on your schedule and go, why do I have to go here? No, you know, um, I like them all. Any day that I get up and uh, get cars ready to go to the races is, is a good day for me. Um, you know, whether it's whether it's anywhere, uh, I'll tell you one day that I'm really looking forward to is uh, June 18th at, at New Egypt. Uh, myself and Brett Dale are promoting a Super Dirt Series race, uh, the Dirty Jersey 60. So uh, that's probably the one I'm looking forward to most all year long. And how did that come about, getting involved with Brett and, and becoming a promoter like your family has been for years? Uh, it's something, you know, we, we've thought about for a long time. And, uh, you know, I've been best friends with Brett for a bunch of years now. And, uh you know, he, he approached me with the idea at the end of last summer, and, um, you know, I was on board. I think uh, New, New Egypt would be a cool place to bring the Super Dirt Series stuff, um, you know, those drivers and that, and that product back down to that area uh, where they haven't been since, since 2007. So it's been a couple of years, and uh, we're looking forward to, you know, having the best field, uh, one of the best fields of the year assembled, you know, with, with the Jersey guys that really have enough racing down there where they don't really get to travel up here so much and uh, bringing the northern guys down, so it should be a good mix. Um, you know, hopefully we get a lot of fans down from the north to, to check it out. And, uh, you know, like, like I said, that's the one uh, I'm looking forward to. You've certainly won a ton here in the modified division. Is there any aspirations or anything of, of moving on to trucks, nationwide series, anything like that? Um, you know, I got some, um, some friends in that business, and, you know, not really. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's a tough deal. Um, friend of mine Dexter Stacy is doing the uh, the nationwide this year and uh, my buddy Kevin Bates has been working with them and it's tough you know it's a real lot of work and it's a totally different commitment so um, you never know uh, in the near in the future in the next couple of years if there was an opportunity to do something like that that'd be pretty cool um, I'm not ruling it out altogether but at the same time you know um, we got a pretty good get going here with the modifieds and I'm really having a lot of fun with it